Welcome back to This Week in History, and this week we're talking baseball. The Washington Nationals are headed to the World Series. Or should I say, l'exposition de Montreal? Oui? Unknown. And we answer the question, what was America like the last time a DC baseball team was in the World Series? The year, 1933. The team, the Washington Senators, led by Hall of Fame shortstop Joe Cronin and pitcher Alvin the General Crowder. Aren't old baseball nicknames great? You got a lot of lefties, a lot of dizzies. The general. That year, America was in the middle of the Great Depression, and after a big time election, there was a new man in the Oval Office, a man from a wealthy New York family who had his own brand of communication to get to the masses. The Fireside Chats, it was Franklin Delano Roosevelt's first term. 13 million people were jobless, and FDR came into office armed with New Deal legislation to get America back to work. Congress had just passed the 21st Amendment and adult Americans were free to drink alcohol again. The big film King Kong came out and frightened Americans across the country, some from the comfort of their own cars, because that was the first year for drive-in theaters. The Washington Nationals just won the pennant led by Anthony Rendon and Steven the General Strasburg on the Hill. That's not really his nickname, I just, I think you could use one. A man from a wealthy New York family is in the Oval Office and he has his own brand of communication for the masses, Twitter. And this year, adult Americans got swept up in the summer wave that was the alcoholic beverage, White Claw. And movie producers are putting the finishing touches on Godzilla vs. Kong. And most Americans will be able to watch that film from the comfort of their own cars on smartphones. What's that old saying? The more things change, the more they something something. 